top. Here we are, Tuesday, uh, March 13th, 2012. It's a beautiful day here in Toronto. Uh, it's about uh, 12 degrees. We've got a, a gentle wind, 10 to 15 clicks uh, from the south. And uh, today we're going to uh, St. John's Norway uh, uh, Anglican Church at Woodbine and uh, just north of uh, Kingston Road. An iconic uh, church there, uh, very old. Uh, Huge old graveyards, beautiful. And uh, but uh, these aren't about the destination; these are about the journey. These are about uh, the cyclist's point of view on on non-separated uh, infrastructure, sharing the road with cars. And uh, so off we go. Just finished editing yesterday's uh, run out to Lockwood, and uh, I'm used to driving defensively and uh, bailing and knowing my bails. And uh, but yesterday's uh, ride uh, had five really scary moments in it. I didn't realize how dangerous a ride it was until I did the edits. So that's up under, uh, out of nowhere, driving defensively and knowing your bales. Let's hope that doesn't happen today. I'm taking uh, Jones here north to Dundas, Dundas bike lanes, over to Kingston Road. And then it's either across uh, the wrong way, one way, Dixon over to Woodbine and up Woodbine, or I can do that, or I can take a left at the end of Dundas bike lane onto onto uh, Kingston Road and take you up in through the graveyard. I'll leave that as a little tension to see what we do. I was gonna sail up that hill and over. Bouncy runner. Good arches, good calves. Bounce, bounce. I don't know how good it is for your spine. Lots of traffic on the roads this week. It's March break here. I think everywhere in North America.
and uh, people are saying, oh, it's going to be dead, you know, everybody leaves, but uh, not down here. Nobody leaves from this neighborhood to go south, I don't think. They just drive around. Oh, we're coming up. Uh, all yesterday's events happened to, between here and Coxwell, which you can see that, maybe you can see that yellow bus down there. That's Coxwell. Four rolls of the dice that I was able to avoid any injury. And uh, looking back on it, there was no indication then, but looking back on it, I was going too fast. And I didn't pick up on that cue until after the fifth incident. That's how you get killed. to make this either. Uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day. It might even be 13, 14 degrees. I see people with capri pants across the street. Wow. It's nice out. I have uh, one cotton t-shirt, one long sleeve cotton pullover, and a uh, and a woolen uh, sweater and I'm overdressed gloves no hat Something's telling me it's uh, it's probably more like 15 degrees. It's a warm wind blowing in from the south. It's like if you're a crosswalker, a pedestrian, why not wait for the bike to go by before you push the button? Thanks. slow down or you can you know sort of move half off over to the other lane you can be an asshole or you can be a fucking mensch I'm not like this guy it's like I'm running out of lane I'm signaling and what does he do he doesn't doesn't apply the brake at all even though we're coming up to a stoplight he moves over across the yellow line half a bit. I don't know where he's going. I know he's not breaking. So why did you go ahead of me if you're going to slow and turn? It's 
So I took a left there, uh, the end of Dundas bike lanes up onto Kingston Road, up the hill. That's yeah, busy. And here's the beginning of the graveyard at St. John's, Norway. Signaling all the way there in the middle of the street. You can't see that. The truck on my right pulled away at the last minute so he wouldn't hit my arm. The guy of the truck coming from behind straddled the lanes, didn't change lanes. So here we are in this beautiful church cemetery. And there's the church. Up here, this little altar thing here, you can see that's where an old church used to stand, right on top of the hill there. You can see the foundation stones there still. I'll bet you it had a lot better drainage than this one. You can see here, they've had to put a retaining wall all the way around this one because it's on the edge of a hill and uh, the floor in the basement's wet when there's a downpour just damp ah look at all these sustainable transportation riders here How are you? I need a new bike. Oh no. Yours is good. Oh, that's a, yeah, you can even put thinner tires on that, eh? You yeah, you it? could. I like yeah, these. That's good. That's, that's, that's get you downtown and everywhere. That's perfect. Perfect bike. I got my shirts on me. Oh, I got some. I'll show you. Okay. Lots yeah, I don't like the thinner wheels. The next size down is uh, the one inch, eh? The, yeah, you could go for the three quarter inch, but they're really, the the really expensive. Those, these are a dime a dozen because they're yeah. mass produced. Actually, they are good too. They got a good light tread on them. Well, the tires, yeah, I could change those to baldies and and narrower ones. Yeah. Uh, the last bike had the skinnier ones on, like you said. And you that's a good setup. Yeah. That's a good setup there. The brakes are all done well. How many gears do you have? We got gears, eh? Yeah, 18 gears. Usual. No, yeah, 15 good gears. Yeah, good bike. Yeah, they call it a hybrid because it's uh, got the, the mountain. I had one time. Uh, a Vita, Vitas. You ever heard of those? A what? Vitas. Vitas. The French racing bicycle. Velo. French racing bicycle. Velo. No, Vitas. It's called. Vitas. Okay. Uh, they're right. like a golden pink, but oh my god, it's so light you could lift and they will fly, you know, a much, much vast improvement. I mean, you can get real good stuff these days, and this was a huge one. My you know. pedals untied my shoe. But i got to show you quickly my uh, new shirt so you don't see them. Okay. You got a camera on your forehead? Yes, I have a head cam. I'm a, a neuromancer. What's that, J uh, Mr. Uh, William Gibson? The uh, cross between human and si and uh, technology. The cyborg. Oh, and we're still recording too. Yay! Take two.